Hamilton wants a new ambulance service. As 16 WAPT Scott Simmons reports, the city is cutting ties with one of the largest ambulance providers in the South, AMR. The city of Brandon called a special meeting to announce the news. AMR is out, and Pafford EMS out of Arkansas will take over emergency call service inside the city limits. The mayor says AMR may be the biggest ambulance provider in the area, but wasn't getting the job done fast enough in Brandon. Our paramedics and EMTs uh, run into it many times where they get a call finally working a patient on scene that there's no ambulance available. And that's a great source of concern for family members when they have to transport their own family to the emergency room. The mayor says the complaint started years ago, but just over the last year, from July of 2013 to July of 2014, it recorded 655 calls where it took AMR longer than the expected 10-minute response time. AMR disputes those claims, but would only comment through a written statement and said, in part, it has responded to more than 10,000 emergency calls in the city over the last 10 years. And a quote, a minority of our response times have been longer than the 10-minute goal. On the other hand, we have produced thousands of response times for Brandon well below 10 minutes. Pafford won't address the complaints with AMR. It says it will have more ambulances working inside the city limits. I think right now our plan is to put four in the city in the day, three at night. Other fire department chiefs from the county were at Brandon's meeting. They still do business with the ambulance giant. Paffer gets to work in Brandon in February, but AMR is already at work meeting with the other fire chiefs from Rankin County Thursday evening to try and address what concerns they might have regarding ambulance response time. In Brandon, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. You just heard Scott mention that meeting. AMR will meet with those fire chiefs Thursday at 630. That meeting is at the Rankin County EOC office.